you are welcome viewers to this special episode uh, at Samamaga Foundation we are pursuing a course we are on a mission our mission is to give help and hope and a future to orphans our society is bloodied with violence our young people have no value or regard for lives they take life just at any slightest provocation or no provocation at all. The non-educated are angry with the educated. The poor are angry with the rich. And the neglected are rising up to be angry with the society. Orphans are so neglected. Our society is not kind to orphans. Oftentimes, they are left to their fate. The widows are crying. The orphans are crying. But God has raised up some other foundation for this cause that orphans can be given help and a hope and a future. Thus wiping away tears from their eyes and wiping away tears from the eyes of their mothers. This is possible. We can do it together. Recently, we just got the, the some sets reoriented. We spent two weeks giving them character reorientation, visionary reorientation, showed them a hope for a preferred future. They lived in depression. Their stories were, were ugly. They sent us to tears in the studio when we were interviewing them. But I could also see the day we were handing them their checks and their drafts to go to the university, pay to the Boswell department and become undergraduates. I could see tears turn into smile. I could see hopelessness turn into hope. I could see darkness roll away, giving rise to bright light and bright smiles. And one of them, Noel, screamed and he said can I have a joy of embracing a father for the first time in my life that's the reality of what we see and that's why we pursue this course and that's why we give you an invitation to be part of what we are doing in some other foundation we believe strongly in education and not just any education we believe in right education in the right environment for when these two mix quality education in the right environment Character is bred. Integrity is raised. And we say to them often that people can rise by smartness, but only integrity will keep them at the top. That's why we believe in this. To take them away from the tendency of violence. Take them away from being angry with the society. Take them away from the double jeopardy they found themselves. Lost their parents and the society has neglected them. Take them away from, from, from a revenge mission most of them have gone on. Because they feel neglected, they are angry with anything that they can lay hands on. But you see, as we see these ones, as we send these ones to school, we see hope and we see joy. We see something happen to them. And that's why we give you this invitation to be part of our giving help and hope and the future to these neglected orphans. We are inviting you to become a helping hand. In fact, God's helping hand to these orphans. We were at home me, my dad, my mom, and my brothers, when we heard the religious extremists shouting, we came out and we managed to run for our dear lives. But my dad said he's staying back to guard the house. We hid in some of the rocks close to our area, but we could vividly see what was going on in the area. They came and set our house up, please. They and set your house ablaze. Yes. And your dad was. He was right beside there. the house. Mm. They took a kitchen knife and plucked his two eyes. Plucked his two eyes. 
And you were seeing this. <laughs> oh my God. He was screaming. The dad was screaming. But there was nothing he could do. They poured petrol on him and set him on fire. Now, you told me you wanted to rush back and rescue your dad. The Ma people yes. around me helped me. The people around you helped you. You're not even thinking of what could happen to you if you went there. Because he was crying. He was crying in pain. Oh my God. On the 28th of uh, September 2008, uh, during just crisis, along Baptist uh, behind Saint Michael Church, as a long Duse of just not local government Plateau State. Uh, in the morning, at about 6 a.m., when we were sleeping in the room, we heard people shouting, please run for your life. Suddenly, our dad came to our room and woke us up and to go to the neighboring house because there was a narrow escape a way to escape towards that direction. And then we woke up, we were afraid, we were shocked. Everybody was in a confused moment. And then we ran to the neighboring house. Now, when we escape, we run to a far distance, viewing our house from afar, viewing the entire area. Then we saw people coming into the area, burning houses where we stood. We were in our house in particular. Now, when the pressure was much, my daddy okay. I don't want to see this, sir. He opened the door to come out. And here are these people. They were all holding gun, knife of different kind. If I have to estimate, they are over 200. They helped my dad. From where we stood, it's just like a border where if you can run to that place, it's more safer. My dad is a prestige person respected in the community. And just because of that, they held my father, tied his hands, It was this night they used and it's just scoffed. The Navi scoffed like this. And the easiest was the neck and then they remove his neck down. <laughs> we were all watching from afar. They couldn't allow their entire body to fall down. They hold him, 
somebody pick his head up showing the people from afar after a little while somebody remove his hand again using the cutlass just gradually that was how they persist my dad it was only God in heaven, which up to today I'm still thanking God in heaven. Because if killing yourself wouldn't be a sin to God, I think I would have joined to my father then. But I thank God for rescuing me when I took a battery powder. You took battery powder? That's the story we had. Just to kill myself and follow my dad. The Lord will comfort you. The Lord will wipe away your tears. That's it's a responsibility that we all must face together and rejoice tomorrow as we see these orphans who otherwise would have turned to crime become useful members of our society giving all of us peace to coexist together there is a law of love and leadership number one it is to do for others what they cannot do for themselves in the Samaga foundation we are declaring to them we refuse to let you fail Orphans, we're saying we have chosen a cause to make them choose to succeed in life. Friends, you can become our partners, and together we can do this. God bless you now.